Welcome to the Rookie Fashion Icon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon to see our new videos when we post them. Hey, what up my fellow crafters? My name is Aries. Welcome to my tip channel, the Rookie Fashion Icon. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple waist purse. So let's get started. So I created the templates already and I'm just tracing them out on the leather right before I cut them out. And these are the pieces I cut and these are the dimensions. I had to make a lot of alterations for them to fit perfectly. And because um, I'm going to, I'll, okay, I was going to flip the thing inside out. So I had to skive all the edges, all the places I was going to sew. So when I turn it inside out, it's going to be flat. So um, here I'm cutting the opening where I'm going to just fit the zip in. This was one of the options. It was either this or create like a zip tab on either edges to sew it. So I'm just going to cut this in and fit it so it's one clean line. So just cutting this out, take this other, oops, I didn't cut this part well. But yeah, I'll just take this out and I'm applying glue on both sides, not just the zip. I've already applied on the the leather piece itself that's going to make the lower front of the zip so i'm just adding some contact glue making sure it covers the part that i want to gum and zooming out you can see here i let it air a bit so now i'm just sort of fitting it together so it's just follows the line of the piece so i'm just going to carefully lay the two sides together the two surfaces i've applied contact glue on just carefully <laughs> I, I need it to be very straight so all the way to the end so you see just it just sort of fits in just zip it close and cuts any excess So now that I've put this part together, I also did the same thing from the top. Sorry, I missed the footage. And I'm just going to sew everything together so it makes the whole face of the bag. And now you see why the curves are different. So it creates the bulge at the zip to give the roundness and the face. So that's the front piece complete in one piece. And I'm just going to clip the back piece. I'm going to sew the top first before I sew the sides because I'm going to have to fit. You see this um, little D-ring strap on the top left of the video? I'm going to have to fit them. That's why I sew the top. So now I'm clipping the sides and I'm just going to sew around the entire purse. And I'm sewing on the part that I skived because I need it to be as thin and as flat as possible when I flip the bag inside out. So here it is, I've sewn the zip part. I'm just going to carefully, I'm trying not to rip the leather, just squeeze it through, pull, push everything out, pull, <laughs> pull the pullables and push the pushables. So now you see the shape and we still have some puffiness around the edges. So I'm just going to push some of it out and you can see it's not, it's not really looking smooth so i decided to um get my hammer and see, okay i'm just pushing it out with my nails just seeing if i can get as much of it as i can and this is it with me skiving so imagine if i didn't skive this thing it wouldn't have come out like this at all so this was why i really wanted to skive out the edges so now i'm just gonna get my hammer and i'm just going to bit around the edge and this sort of helps it fold well like when you flip it inside out you have to really pound it hard <laughs> no pun intended so i'm just going to compare two sides to show you why i always like hitting my flips and edges out so you can see the difference this side is still puffy while the side i already hit is already flat so i'm just going to continue with the whole side so i do not have any already made strap ready so i decided to make one myself and I'm trying to create a one inch wide strap. So I already cut the two pieces out. I applied contact glue. I let it air a bit. And that is what you see now. It's just me joining the two pieces together. 
I'm just going to roll the whole thing to make sure it glues. And now I'm getting my um, really long ruler because I, I don't want to move the thing around. So I just want clean cuts. So I'm measuring out the one inch on either side. And I just follow the measurement with my long ruler. And I try to make the clean cut. So as I'm cutting, I'm following with my hand because you don't want the ruler to shift. <laughs> I'm talking too fast. Just cut it there. And yeah, we've got our strap. So I'm using a curved punch to just cut out the end. I don't know. I just wanted this. So I'm just cutting out the end. So on either side, you get the curved finish. It's not just straight, it's sort of rounded. And I'm punching holes, two holes on both sides for me to create the belt strap. So I'm fixing it first in the middle of the adjuster. This is how I actually make my um, adjustable straps. So you start with the end that's going to join the adjuster. Trust me, for your own safety, please start like this. You don't want to start on the wrong end. I'm just going to fix in um, a rivet and I'm, trust me, I'm looking for my rivet center. <laughs> and yeah, carefully, no wrong side, turn it, yes. So I'm just going to give it a, a few taps just to secure the rivet down. And now you have the, the thing fixed in your adjuster. You go to whatever end of the bag you want to adjust the strap, um, attach the strap to, sorry. You take it through, then you come back to the adjuster then you sort of do it like a belt buckle. Now that's how you have an adjustable strap. Then I go to the other end where my hook is going to be. I'm just going to fix a rivet here. I'm looking for the rivets. Put in the post first. Then you put in the head of the rivet and make sure it snaps. So when you start hitting it, it doesn't shift. So I'm going to go there, get my rivet setter on my punching board and just give it a few taps and yeah you've got yourself an adjustable strap and a waist bag so i hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you think and what other things you like me to make follow me on instagram at iris up and at iris atelier